Oh yeah, just playing someone charter with my friends. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, thanks for the assist, man. Good work. Oh, you want a high five? Hell yeah. Oh, this person, this person. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. Hey there guys, how's it going? My name's Mitch, and I make Uncharted 3 videos, and my goal by doing so is to try and make the Uncharted 3 community a little bit stronger and a little bit more supported. Today's video features a three-team deathmatch with me and my friend Mr. Moonjo. Me and Moonjo go a far ways back, like me and him are total bros, and you know, he's one of those kinds of guys that will always have my back no matter what, and uh, me and him were the founders of the Doctor Clan, and it's kind of weird how far the Doctors have expanded since today, but anyway, yeah, it's really cool, and it was really fun to get to play some Uncharted with him after such a long time, because he kind of put Uncharted on a hiatus for a little while, so this was like our second match we ever played after a long, long time. So yeah, it was really cool. And another really cool thing about this match was it was the first match where someone outside of the Uncharted 3 community recognized me. Like, throughout this video, you'll see this guy called the Lord of It's, and he's playing as Chloe, and he noticed me, and it was really cool, because he, he sent me a message, and he's like, Hey, aren't you that angry Asian guy on Don't Taunt Me, bro? And, you know, the one who has the seizures and screams a lot, and I was like, Yep, that's me! It's an honor to that you know me, blah, blah, blah! And I thought it was so cool how, like, someone recognized me and treated me like with respect which was really cool at the same time it kind of made me nervous though because i had some kind of feeling that i had this expectation where i had to do really good in the game but anyway yeah it was really cool and uh anyway if you guys ever see me online you know it would be awesome if you guys would be like hey there what's up how's it going uh, i seen your videos and you know it'd be cool if you like added me on psn and we could play some games together my uh PSN is Tarmo Skater 21. You can see it throughout the bottom left if you didn't notice already. But yeah, it would be really cool and everything. But uh, I'm not here to talk about, you know, people ta noticing me through my seizures or my screaming or, you know, me and my founding doctor clan member. Um, I'm here to talk about your favorite booster. And uh, I got this idea originally from the Red Dog, and he was talking about all his favorite boosters and what he thinks works in the game and what doesn't work and I'm just here to discuss my opinion on in my favorite booster so anyway my favorite booster is uh, team safe it's a booster that um, it makes it so you don't get stunned by grenades and it also makes it so uh, your teammates don't receive full damage from any grenade throws and I really like it because it's kind of like a team perk like it makes it so you can be an overall more effective teammate and I like that and I just really, really like perks that, that where it uh, makes it harder for you to die. <laughs> and um, what I mean by that is there are a lot of like boosters that reward you for dying. For example, like Revenge where you drop a grenade or Come Here where it lets you see your enemy that last killed you. And I mean, I'm not saying those are bad boosters at all, but... I, I don't like the idea that you can only fully take advantage of them when you die. <laughs> and for a person like myself, I want to try and die as least as possible. So I don't want to have this idea that, oh, I can be better when I'm dead. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. That that doesn't sound right. And I mean, I think, isn't that why Fleetfoot is arguably the best booster in the game and the most overpowered? Because it makes it so you're harder to kill because you're moving around faster when you're in gunfights and everything. But anyway, yeah, team save is just really cool because uh, it's just really fun. And, like, for a person like me, I'm always trying to use automatic guns. And uh, when I'm going against the Gmall, I need to try and make sure I'm always aiming and trying to take my shots. I don't have to worry about getting stunned or grenades getting in the way. And because I need to get all my shots in or else I'm not going to win the gunfight. So team save kind of ensures that for me. And it's really good. And... Uh, I think it just makes it more of a viable option for me in gunfights since I just don't have to worry about grenades as a problem, you know. And uh, I guess, like, the one thing I really don't like about Team Save is the fact that you have to level it up so much with, like, 45 high fives. But anyway, guys, what's your favorite booster? Just tell me, you know, in the comments if you're interested. And I really appreciate your input if you're willing to do so. So I'll check you guys later. So peace out, dogs.